The following video contains strong sexual content and is rated M for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Our advice? Don't get caught. Previously on the Bad Girls Club. Halloween party tonight. Y'all wanna come? You aren't going to our booking tonight? I don't think we're even having one. Has anyone heard from Ray? No. I texted her this morning, but I got no response. Sounds like we don't have a booking. Do y'all want to come? Sandy, have you heard from Ray? I don't talk to people I look better than. Yeah, could you hurry up and come get me? Olive Oil keeps asking me where Popeye is. Edgeless bucket mouth bitch. I'm sorry, but Sandy is a bitch. A B-I-T-C-H with a lopsided BBL. Disproportionate ass bitch. Is there a problem? There is? Okay, solve it. Twinkie, I don't care what you do in your free time back home, but this isn't that. Most of those people who came out last night I know personally, it wasn't the time and place for that. I'm sorry, Valentine. I didn't realize I was embarrassing you. I won't do it again. Thank you. That seemed a little too easy, but I don't trust the slut as far as I can throw her. There's hella bitches inside, and it seemed like Valentine knew every single one of them. She kept introducing us to people, and we were all taking pictures. Ah, oh, y'all, my man looks lonely. I think I'm going to go keep him company. Girl, you were going to leave us anyway. Mm-hmm, and you probably next. What do you mean? Dion White has been looking at you all night. I think Dion is cute. And we caught a little vibe last night, but he gives off the vibe that he wants you to chase him. I'm not doing that. Hi, my name is Sandy Cheeks. Oh yeah, I've seen some of your videos. Oh yeah? You like my work? Yeah, but it was a little hard to recognize you. Do you know that your wig is crooked? Huh? Your wig, it's crooked. Or maybe it's not. The invisible part is fooling me. Are you fucking serious? I can't believe this pig-nosed fathead said that to me. Why is everyone on this show so concerned about hair? Ah! Y'all, why did Twinkie come wrapped as a gift with half a coochie lip hanging out? You can't make this shit up. Again, the concept I like, but the execution wasn't there, babe. I'm trying to remain calm, but this is wild. You couldn't tuck it away? Or use some more gift wrap? There was a bitch in there wrapped in more toilet paper than you. I have no words. Cece, isn't that Dion talking to Twinkie? Yeah, and? And Marco? Again, and? Uh, where are they going? I don't know, but I think we should follow them. Oh my god. Kai, I told you that girl was wild as fuck. This is why I didn't want to invite her. I guess Twinkie is just plain trifling, oh well. You live and you learn. She really don't care. I'm going back downstairs, this shit played. I feel bad for Cece because I know she likes Dion, but now it's weird because he slept with her roommate. I didn't stop by the house yesterday and I had a very good reason not to. It was a self-care day, but it's back to business today and I have some really important news for the girls. I hope that Ray is here about the money from the club hosting, even though I feel like we should have got paid that same night. Good to see y'all. The first thing I wanted to let y'all know is that Sandy decided to leave the show. She didn't send any of you funky butterball, Dave the Barbarian, and handsome Squidward bitches any positive thoughts. Wow, a bitch even if she isn't here. I might have thrown some of that in there. I like to stir the pot. I would say that I enjoyed my time on this show, but I didn't. I'm still the prettiest girl in the house and the most paid. Those girls are stupid to stick around because the Lil Caesar check is not worth it ruining this mug. 
Anyway, the star of the show signing out is leaving. We're going to be replacing her. The new girl should be here soon. In the meantime, let's talk about this money. So we made 15K on our last booking between all of us. That's $2,500. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Okay, even though I'm pretty sure you aren't hard of hearing, but you each get $2,500. That's what I thought you said. Is there a problem? Of course there is. Here we go. Here we go? Yeah, here we go. Every time I turn around, you have a problem. Okay, bitch, stop turning around then. Nobody asked yo freak ho ass to speak. I can open my mouth whenever I want to. Oh, bitch, please, if it's not to catch a nut, shut your ass up. I ain't gotta do shit. You about to catch these hands. Bitch, I'll stomp you out in these slippers. Talk to me nice. Stomp me out. I want to see you do it. I don't know how we went from talking about the money we made from the club to this, but here we are. Can y'all do this another time? We have bigger fish to fry. Damn, I was hoping they'd fight. All we made was $2,500 apiece? I make that in an hour. Okay, Ann, you could have stayed your $2 ass home if the money was a problem, or better yet, you could go home too. I really don't give a fuck. I'm not about to be disrespected on my own show. Every bitch on this show I handpicked, and the majority of them didn't have as big of a following as me or make as much money as me. I put these bitches on, and this is the thanks I get. I'm giving you a platform, ho, and you worried about $2,500? I get what Kai is saying about the money cause on a good night at the club. I can make that plus more. It's almost like we're missing out on money being here. But also, we're getting exposure by being here and technically networking. Girl, please, you personally invited me on this show. You need me, bitch. Did Ray invite you on the show? Yes. She called me up personally because I have 1 million followers and I'm in the top percent on only cams. Like real bitches know me, I actually make money for real to sit at home and do the bare minimum. $2,500 to sleep in those tinsy ass bed ain't enough. Earl, nobody was personally invited on this show. Everybody is here because I decided to give them an opportunity. Nobody special here but me. Well, that's a lie. I was invited on this show. You were? Yeah. Ray knows that both me and Kai have a large following and people would tune in for us. Freckles and the other girls might have been picked randomly, but I know for sure that we were called. What are you lying for? Like you didn't reach out to my assistant on IG. I can pull up the messages, bitch. Who you calling a bitch ho? The girls are fighting, ha, huh? oh well. Get that hoe, Kai. Yeah, I told Kai to get her. I don't like anybody who plays with my money. Bitch, shut your ass up. Oh shit. Shouldn't we stop them? I ain't security, bitch. Sandy was right, we do need security. I don't need y'all to get me off this hoe. She not even worth it. You can get me up out of here. Be gone, bitch. You're fired. Dumb bitch, you can't fire somebody who already quit. Girl, shut the fuck up. No, you shut the fuck up before you get beat the fuck up again. Crazy ass girl. Ray be playing in people's faces, and I don't like all that. 
so I told production to put me in a hotel. I was not about to stay there in that tired ass early 2000 reality TV show house. That bitch put on like she got money and ain't got a dollar to her name, just quick weaves and bad leave out. And you can go too. Pack your shit strong face, bitch. Gladly crater face. But before I go, get her ass. I didn't think this would be my intro to the bad girl's house, but I like a little mess. If you don't know me, then you must have never been to my city. My name is Sin City, aka Sin the Sinner. Vegas one and only it girl. I'm a bad girl because I'll do anything to get to the bag, might even fuck your man for it. This is probably fucked up to say, but ain't nobody really thinking about that new girl. Even Ray ignored her ass when she came in. She just told us to get ready and left. Didn't I say we were gonna be getting to the bag? Like the boss bitch I am, I secured us a spot at Cersei Day Party and nobody needed that stoic face bitch Valentine to put shit together. Bitches think cause they slept with the football and the basketball team, they know everybody. Ho, you know D-list celebrities and bench riders, use a nobody. We weren't even in there 15 minutes before I saw these two dusty hoes that were supposed to be off the show. Y'all love to play with me and lil girl me on my own damn show, but y'all fail to remember who brought y'all the show and these bitches. You thought you'd seen the last of us? Like I said, we got pull, baby. Something Ray wishes she had. We're in a section with the owner of the network, while you got these girls walking around looking for a lap to sit in. Ray ain't a real boss, and she's definitely not a bad girl. Poor girl's face been balled up since she's seen us. Pathetic. I'm glad to see Val and Kai, but as usual when we're out in these streets, it's back to networking. I can always catch up with them, but when am I going to be in a room like this again? I'm not missing no opportunities, not even behind Ray's sulking ass. Speaking of, what the hell does she have on?
I can't believe how many celebrities are at this party. Ray really came through for us. Usually I would be taking advantage of all the pay to play boys, but today I'm just chilling. Ladies remember to give that Lil Coochie a rest every now and then. Y'all, I just wanted to dance. That's it. Why is this man behind me barefoot and about to knock me over? Where are your shoes? The girls scattered so fucking quick, I didn't even really get to introduce myself. But it's okay. I ain't here for these hoes anyway. I'm here for a check and... possibly some dick? We'll see! I spy with my lil eye a washed up bitch having a meltdown in front of Cersei and her girlfriend. It looks like she's mad at them. Hmm. I wonder why. Either way, it got her kicked out of the party early. Personally, I wouldn't have let her ass in with that outfit. And you want to know what else I spy? A cheap hoe on the phone with her pimp. Not allowed to give that lil coochie a rest, huh? Hmm, interesting. 